Hi, I am going to share with you my cream routine. So, they're all in here, every day. This is what I go through. Um, there is about 15 products that I apply. So, let's begin. In the morning, I wash my face, and now that would be a whole other video because I have, I think, about five different face washes that I alternate. So, I use a different one depending on what skincare routine I'm going to be doing that day. If I'm doing Retin A, then I'll use one. If I'm just how my skin is that day, I will use whatever wash I feel is more appropriate. That's another video. So, to begin with, I will wash my face in the morning and then I will use this, which is a skin serum. It is very, very light. It's very liquidy. And I've done a review on many of these products by um, Insta Natural. And uh, this is really a nice product. Now, between every one of these products, I wait at least 10 minutes. So imagine how long it takes me to do my skin care. That might be why I don't wear makeup to go to work. So I use this one, and then I follow with a heavier vitamin C serum, which would be this one from Made From Earth, which I also did a video review on it. So that comes next. I wait for that to dry. Let me show you that. There you go. See? It's a nice serum. I like it. Now, it's just a little bit heavier than the other one. It has no perfume. And the other one is a total liquid. So, that's a liquid, see? There we go. And um, when you put this one on, you're going to feel the difference. It quickly dissipates into your skin, while the other one has a more uh, emollient feel to it. After that, I wait again my 10 minutes, and this is while I'm doing other things around the house. So I wait again my 10 minutes, and then I do my another made from Earth product. This one I really, really like. This is the eye cream, and this goes around my eyes. Very lightweight, not a sticky product at all. Really, really nice. It is a chamomile product and it calms your eyes it smells very natural like if you were in a field of grass so i like that one and after that i follow up with one of my very favorite products again this product is a stem cell and peptide product and it's also made from earth and yeah you can tell i like that <laughs> so i go ahead and i put this product on which is a very light product melts into your skin and all of these products except for the eye skin care product I, I go all the way down my neck which is my very problematic area all the way to my chest so I do that that's 10 minutes in between each one and after that I go ahead and I follow up with my sunscreen so that's my sunscreen. The one I'm using right now is a CVS brand. It's 50 SPF and I also carry a little uh, pot of it in my purse so that, so that I can reapply. And this one is, is a heavy sunscreen but it does go ahead and go into your skin pretty clear. So that's good and it does stay oily and I don't mind. I don't, you know, I know, it's, it, you know, I have an oily face every day when I go to work. <laughs> That's okay. When I want to put makeup on, you don't see the oily face when you put the makeup and the setting powder. So, yeah. That's the one I use for now until I make my own, which I will be making soon, and I will show you how. But in the meantime, that's the one I use. I still haven't finished. <laughs> then what I do is I go ahead and I spray my body with this one, which is a Neutrogena brand. It is a spray, very light, and um, that's SPF 50. So let me explain. I do this one on my face, my neck, my chest, and my hands, but then I spray over it with this one. And I just don't really trust sprays because I think they miss spots. This one you're not supposed to be putting in your face because you might inhale it. 
So I cheat and I just, you know, cover my breath. I put it on my face and I walk away from the mist of cloud that is left behind. I don't suggest you do that because the instructions say not to. So I don't want to give you bad advice. And that's my daycare. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, 10 minutes, six times. That's an hour of cream applica appl application. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah. Why do you think I don't wear makeup? I don't have time. And the creams for me are more important. Now we're going to go to the nighttime routine. And now get ready. Because if you thought my daytime cream routine was extensive, you ain't seen nothing yet. So, my night crime, nighttime routine, if I am not doing retin, would be the same face products. However, after I put on my creams, then I follow up with cacao oil, which I am pretty much out of. <laughs> cacao oil smells very nutty and uh, smells like peanut nougat. So if you've ever tasted peanut nougat, this is a heavy oil. So this is going to really give you a shine all over your face. So that's what I put on. The body. This is what I do with the body. I go ahead and I put this lightweight, this one is from Suave. I use any lightweight uh, moisturizer. This is the one I have now. I happen to really love she butter, so I use that a lot. And this one has both she and cocoa butter. Both of them are very good. So this one goes all over. And I wait for it to seep in. Again, that's 10 minutes. After that one is put all over, um, I go and I use this, which is not really meant to be moisturizing. It's more of a delivery system for DHEA, but it does have a lot of emollients in it. So it helps. So I put this one, again, it has shea butter, has coconut oil, olive oil. It has a lot of emollients in it, and I use that for um, the application. The proper application for this is to put it in areas that are thin skin, and you only apply two pumps during the entire day because this is actually a doses of a supplement, so you don't want to overdo it. So I do that under my arms. and. When I finish with that and that is fully absorbed, that's another 10 minutes, then I go ahead and I put my cellulite, my cellulite cream, this one that I'm using, I really, really love this one. Uh, this one is Cellulite MD. I really like this one because it is not one of those uh, creams that you feel evaporating with the alcohol content. It, it feels very emollient and I really, this is my favorite of all. So does it work? We don't know. Will we continue using it? Yes, we will because it's not hurting me. So, And let me find a spot here and that would be it. Very nice. It feels really good. So I massage this into my inner thighs, my uh, stomach area. I use that and then I wait another 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I use this oil, which I love. This is a, a stretch mark oil from Body Mary. Now, the reason I have to make sure that I really wait that time for absorption is because if I'm putting one cream over another cream, it's not going to absorb into the skin. So this one I usually use uh, under my belly because that's like in the, in the not under my belly because my belly doesn't fold over, but you know, like on the lower part, that's the right term. The lower part is where I have uh, some stretch marks. So that's what I will use. This is a great natural product. I really like it. It is made from um, some kind of berry. Uh, let's see if I remember the name. See something. Uh, well, it has a lot of things. It has grape seed oil, rose hip oil, and uh, it has sea buck thorn, which is really good for you. So it does have a tint. And I'm going to talk about all of these creams and bedding and clothing that you should be wearing. So it does have a tint, 
and it's not as heavy as let's say the kakai oil if you're familiar with that but it, it is an oil okay so I put that and then I wait again another 10 minutes minimum you know it takes long for these creams to get in to your skin and, and stay off of that surface so you you have to wait sometimes even longer at least at night I have time to wait <laughs> in the morning that it gets tough okay so after I've put that mainly in my uh, tummy and in my inner thighs then I go to what's the next one I have here this one which is practically empty my she butter okay so uh, yeah, it is empty. I've already ordered another one. I'm going to be trying another brand that one of my subscribers recommended. So I'll be trying that and I will let you know about it. This one I like because it is a natural organic and I am definitely, as you know, into natural products and specifically, if possible, the organic products. So uh, this one goes all over my body, all over, and that's why I use so much of it because what I do is I will take out this is a it's hardened because of the temperature so I'll take out a, a bit not as little as what I'm taking out now and then I will put it on my hand and I will rub it like this so that the friction causes heat and then it'll melt down and it gets creamy and that allows me to apply it so I apply this all over my body every inch of my body gets this my feet my ankles, my calves, my legs, my knees, my, my upper torso, everywhere is going to get this. Everywhere. So at this point, talk about shine and slippery. That's me. So what I do at that point, because when I started doing this process, my sheets were just a mess, a mess because of all of these oils. So now what I'm doing is that I am wearing a long sleeve pajama and pants pajama and that is helping now, I'm getting used to it because I don't like that I don't like sleeping in those long sleeve pajamas but let me tell you it's worth it when you wake up in the morning after doing this your skin feels wonderful I have a dry skin and I have never woken up in the morning feeling so good like when I'm doing this whole process on the nights that I'm doing the retin-a what will change is the products that go on my face I will use my eye cream after I've applied my retin-a I will go ahead and put my eye cream and afterwards I will have my hands a little oily remember that I'm applying the she oil so what I will do is I will go ahead and tap a little bit of that here and if I feel sufficient relief from that tightness that the retin-a gives me I'm good if not I will go ahead and put on a little bit of the cacao oil because that has a high vitamin A content anyway and I will go ahead and just tap a little bit on the purpose is not to be moving things around on your face and uh, it's not a heavy application but just to provide me with some relief so I will tap that on and uh, the Retin-A that I'm using is I alternate right now I am on six days on one day off and um, at this point I am using 0 0.025 and this is a, uh, a tretinoid which is the same as retin-a but it's more emollient and I am also using a 0 0.05 so right now I am using this twice a week this three times a week and did I do my math right and then one day off so that's three four five six no I missed a day so <laughs> I know I'm doing this one twice a week I guess this is four times and then one day off on my day off I give myself a facial I do a complete uh, facial with a mask whether it's a cleaning mask or it could be a clay it could be a moisturizing mask it could be whatever but I do an exfoliation and a facial and then heavy moisturizing so wow <laughs> that's my routine yeah, I don't think I missed anything. Oh yeah, I did miss one thing. I guess I'm going to include it because even though it's not a cream, I am also doing the ProCare. ProCare, I mean Care Prost. So this is the Care Prost. I'm doing this one time in the morning and one time in the evening on my upper 
upper lid only and I am doing that I think I have just a few weeks on that and I've noticed so far I would say maybe maybe three or four weeks and I've noticed uh, the length has improved unfortunately I don't see density which is what I really wanted so we shall see how that goes I will do an update on the care prost I have before and after pictures no, I have the before pictures and the after pictures will be ready when I hit that uh, mark that I need to hit with regards to the time that I'm applying it. And in the meantime, you know, I hope that you've enjoyed this review because a lot of people that know me know my skincare routine and they kind of think I'm a little excessive. So I don't, I don't think I am. I think it's all worth it. Let me know. What do you do? Do you do as much as I do? Is this normal? I think it's normal. So anyway, please like and subscribe and have a wonderful, spectacular day. Thank you. Bye-bye.